Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Avina. So in this video, we are going to talk about the problem A of code force is around 767, which is download mode RAM. So in this problem, it is given that you are given with some software. Okay, so each software uh, wants, basically it wants, it doesn't occupies. वो आपकी जो particular memory से वो decrease नहीं कर रहा है. It just want the particular AI GB of memory. Okay, the IS software. And if you use that software. then it will give you the bi gb of ram of or memory okay so basically you have k gb of memory in the start and you want to know you have to know that uh, after using the software which you have to use which you want want to use optimally how much uh, uh, gb of ram you will get at the last the maximum possible amount of ram fine so there is a very obvious thing that you will use only that software which uh, which requires uh, memory which is less than your current memory less than or equal to for example if a software requires uh, 10 gb of memory but you just have 7 gb of memory of ram then you can't access that software so you are just able to use that software who requires less amount of memory and who is giving you some more additional gb of ram fine so this is the problem so what we will do is <coughs> that we will take a uh, k so what is k k is already given to you means your initial memory fine so you are provided with your initial memory uh, which is basically the k the value k okay uh, you have k and uh, for example you have some a1 a2 a3 a4 B1, B2, B3, B4. So this A1, A2 is uh, is currently in random order. Okay, this is currently in a random order. So obviously you can you can use any software, any other software from this. Okay, and you can also uh, choose it randomly. आप कहीं से भी आप पहले third software use कर सकते हैं, फिर आप first की. जरूरी नहीं कि आप sequence से चलें. You you can choose the software randomly also. Fine. So currently you have k uh, GB of memory, GB of memory. Okay. So now what you will do is you will first pick up that software which needs least amount of uh, memory. Okay. Which with whose AI is least. So for AI being least, we can just sort the uh, the array AI means the pair of A A and B. We can sort it. So now. Let's take that this a one a two three is in now uh, increasing order or is sorted. So now this array is sorted in non decreasing order. Okay, this is a one, this is a two, this is a three, this is a four. Now we will check if we have k, and if a i is less than equal to k, then we will increment k plus b one. Now our current memory is k plus b one. Now we will check for k plus b one and a two. Now a two will check. करेंगे. अगर वो कर रही है अगर सेटिस्फाई हो रहा है सफिशियंट में मिली है तो हम लोग उसकी मेमोरी भी एसेस कर लेंगे उस सॉफ्टवेयर की देन वी विल गो फॉर नेक्स्ट सॉफ्टवेयर बिकॉज़ इट इज इन अ सॉल्टेड ऑर्डर लाइक दिस वी विल आउटपुट द फाइनल एंड द लास्ट मेमोरी मैक्सिमम मेमोरी व्हिच वी कैन गेट ओके सो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव सम ओके लेट्स मूव टुवर्ड्स द कोड पार्ट सो दिस इज माय सबमिशन यू कैन चेक दैट Here what I have done is here is uh, initial k. Okay, then I have inputted a vector pair of a and b. Then I have sorted the uh, the vector uh, with respect to the first element. Now we have uh, the a is in a uh, non-decreasing order. Now we are just checking that if the required memory is less than or equal to our current memory. If yes, then we are adding the extra memory, additional memory which that software is offering. Now we are uh, outputting the value of k, means the maximum value at the end order of the operations after using of the software. So I hope you get it. If you have any doubt, you can comment it down or you can join our Telegram. Please subscribe to the channel. 